Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about Thailand dating websites. A couple of things first. At the end of this video, I will uh, do an Apple update, some exciting news. Not Apple computers, Apple the girl from that love story a few videos ago, and a couple of other things. So, uh, disclaimer, I'm not putting any pictures up of Thailand dating websites, I'm not affiliated to any, I'm not advertising any, and actually I have no experience of Thailand dating websites, no experience at all. I've had a look the last couple of weeks to try and do a bit of research for this. So, how can I tell you about this? Well, one of my best friends has had two experiences with Thailand dating websites. He's given me full permission to tell you his stories and I'm going to change his name but that's it. The rest is a true stories. And it was over a two year period. I've actually done this video about eight or nine times and it's ended up 30 minutes, 40 minutes. Quite boring. I couldn't get any fun into it very detailed and I don't think you guys would like it so I'm doing a straight to the point cut down version now if you do want a long version comments below let me know okay let's get to it so my friend we're calling Pat Pat's a postman <laughs> and he's a bit older than me so I'm 54 he's 65 this happened about uh, four years ago um, he's never had a girlfriend in his life. He's quite a large gentleman, glasses, big black rims, sellotape fixing them. Uh, been a postman all his life from school and uh, he's got to that sort of retirement age now. Lived at home with mum. Uh, she sadly passed away, left him a house. So he's got a house, no mortgage. He had about 60, 70,000 pounds eighty thousand dollars in the bank four years ago when this story started so he's quite well off he's a computer genius um, plays games very good on the computer very savvy very intelligent guy but never had a girlfriend a lot of, the, a lot of that was because of his weight his looks and he was always living at home with mum and looking after her uh, through illness and stuff. And he just never, it was more into computers than girls. But, you know, it's quite a few people who have that, that, that choice in life and they make that choice. So, anyway, so he was about 60, 61 when this story happened. Uh, he fell into the Thailand dating websites from guys at work who told him about their experiences with Thailand anyway he, his mum had passed away he'd gone through a little bit of a lonely patch and he thought have a look so he tried quite a few sites didn't hit it off with a lot of the girls just didn't happen then he went to a premium site which looks like he paid 20 30 pound 20 30 bucks a month the site vetted the girls guys lady boys whoever um, to a higher standard and the people on that end in the Thai site had to pay so the the uh, girl had to pay a little bit of money to link up the emails and video chats and all this so he meets a girl on the premium site um, girls 10 years younger than him seems lovely they hit it off fantastic video chatting Everything seemed fine. She didn't have any kids. She wasn't married. Had a good job. Lived right in the north of Thailand at Nong Kai. On the border with Laos. Um, anyway. He'd never been abroad before, Pat. He, he, he'd never had holidays abroad. Only UK once. He'd never flown. Anyway. So he, he, he flew to Thailand. And they saw each other a year. I'm jumping way up here. Year together, everything fantastic, in love. He's going backwards and forwards 
from UK to Thailand. Um, he's going over for a month, coming back for a month, going over like that. Great, everything good. In that year, he has rented a bungalow for her and him, and he's paid the year's rent in advance, 20,000 baht a month. She's moved from her little rented room into this bungalow. They've got it together for a year. He's furnished the bungalow, all brand new furniture, three, four thousand pound. He's paid for that. All furnished, beautiful, nice big TV. New computer for her, so they're quicker on the chat and stuff. Uh, all kitted out, absolutely beautiful. Her car was a beat up old Toyota Saloon, five, six years old. He traded it in and bought a pickup four seat high jacked up Ford Ranger. No, it wasn't a Ford Ranger, sorry. It was a Toyota Hilux jacked up four seat cab uh, pickup bed at the back. Um, bottom of the range one, but it was a four wheel drive. She's put her car in deposit and he's paid the rest outright. It's cost him about £15,000. Bought the car. So he's got the car there when he's there and uh, the only other thing he did after 10 months she'd already had a boob job and she had quite a good job in a she was supposedly a manager in a leisure center swimming pool complex but she always had a lot of time off she was always there with him when he was there so she sort of worked a month had a month off worked a month and uh, so she was always there when he was there She'd already had a boob job, um, which she paid for. And she wanted a nose job. He paid for a nose job. Um, don't know how much, he didn't tell me, but he paid for a nose job. So she got a nice new nose. So her sunglasses would sit on her nose. So nose job, did that. Year, together. End of the year, uh, start of year two. Wanted to keep the bungalow, so he paid another year's rent on the bungalow, so that's two years rent paid in advance. Fantastic. She then started pushing him for to buy a house. Time to buy a house. Maybe they could settle down a bit more instead of paying rent. And he said, no. I don't want to get married. I don't want to buy a house. Too quick. Not yet. No thanks. Too quick. She kicked him out. She turned round, one year, two months in, kicked him out the house. He'd been over for his normal holiday. He was a couple of weeks into the holiday. Big argument. Nope, not getting married, not buying a house. Out you go. If you don't leave, I'll ring the police. I'll kick you out. We're over, finished, goodbye. Go. He spent a couple of days going around trying to sort it, not interested. She just said, that's it, bang, goodbye. Hmm, over. So he came back to the UK, um, very upset, very sad, not about the money. He thought he'd found love, he thought he'd found the right person. Uh, a couple of weeks went by, no contact, eventually got out of her, same. Don't bother contacting me again, it's all over. Not interested. Now, he, he found this really strange. And I mentioned he's a computer genius. He got hold of somebody in Bangkok to do some uh, investigating for him. He wasn't, he just didn't add up. He wasn't, he wasn't happy. Something was not right. He wouldn't give me the details, but he, he paid a thousand pound to somebody to do some digging. And that person came back with a couple of things an email address of another foreigner um, was the first thing so he got onto this email emailed this foreigner and uh, lo and behold this was a guy started chatting to him started comparing things this young lady in Thailand was seeing this other guy on the alternate months he was going over there. He was paying rent on the same bungalow. He had paid for the boob job. They were talking to getting married. 
he was paying rent on the finance on the car which Pat had already paid for there was no finance and so on and so on you get the picture Pat and this guy talked it all blew up the guy finished with her to both of them lost the girl lost because that was the end of them two so that was a negative experience for Pat on Thai dating website mm. and it turns out his uh, contact got more information for him she never had a job she didn't work in a leisure centre as a manager S oh okay and um, the bungalow it was in her name she'd already paid for it cash bought it outright about five years before um, oh and she had a daughter 10 years old neither of them knew about so both been deceived very negative very bad there are people all over the world that deceive people um, you can say it, it's not just being a Thai girl it could be anyone in the world deceiving someone else over money playing tricks scams whatever you want to call it it happens all over the world so I'm not doing this as a negative about Thai girls this is just one incident one year two months lost that money there we go what did he do two months later he met another girl on the same premium Thailand dating website hmm. however this time Pat used his experience and the girl he met this time her mother and father had a little shop in a village and they lived in a house behind it this girl worked um, at a local superstore lived with mum and dad in the village they had one car Pat quizzed this girl and got evidence in their chats and video chats paperwork proof everything about her he got he pushed he, he was root he pushed he was ruthless with the questioning he told her why and told her what had happened eventually but he pushed for everything information to verify as much as possible he then went to Thailand and met this girl and double checked everything <laughs> um, and that was two and a half years ago he's now retired from work he's rented his house out in the UK to get an income he's moved to Thailand he's living with this new girl who will call Jess in her parents house behind the shop he's not spent any money they're considering and looking at getting married next year I've been invited if they do uh, it's southern Thailand not far from Krabi they're madly in love he's happy as anything and all because he did his homework was ruthless this time asked more questions more proof met the right girl and it's going to be a happy ever after story by the looks of it which is brilliant I'm so happy for him so there's a positive side to the Thai dating websites it can connect two people and end in the happy ever after there we go so what have I learned from telling somebody else's story it's hard work but from what I've seen of these dating sites people can put fake profiles on them very easily they can make any sorts of stories up they could even get you to send money before you meet them you just have to be careful try and talk to your friends find a friend who can look at it logically and give you advice if you're talking to someone on dating sites try and get someone else's point of view if you do fall for someone get someone else to have a look at it and just have a good chat with your friends be careful if you're going to start investing money 
only do it if you're 100 percent sure um, but i imagine these thai dating websites same as any sites in the world can be a great place to meet someone so my advice be ruthless ask more questions talk to your friends in your country and your work mate to ever about it before you jump into it this canon g7x mark ii batteries keep running out ah! sorry so yeah that was my advice let's move on to what i mentioned earlier um i hope that helps people and I hope some other vloggers from Thailand who've got more experience on the Thai dating websites can do a video on it. It'd be great. I mentioned at the beginning, uh, update on Apple. Exciting. So if you're new subscribers or you haven't seen the love story I did a few weeks ago, it's a good story. Um, about a tall man in white socks and sandals who fell in love with one of the girls my number one girl in my second bar fell in love with her didn't work out you bought me a nice coffee machine <laughs> um, and at the time the information I had Apple she sent him away because she wanted two million bar in her working career to buy a shop and some condos above and go and live in her village and retire from the bar scene and as I did a few comments with people she as far as I was aware she did she went back to the her village and she did that since the channel's growing um, and more subscribers a couple of people who used to be my customers got in touch and then amazingly one of the girls who used to work for me hello Moy got in touch and she's given me an update on Apple because she's been in touch with Apple um, I've asked her to get me Apple's email. I'd love to speak to her. <laughs> but she did finish in the bar scene and she did move away. But she didn't go to her village. She went to a place uh, called Sirachar. Now I think it's only an hour or two above north of Patea. Um, and I didn't realise, didn't know why would she go there. A couple of videos ago I pointed out my barmaid toy the Tom girl who was gay Apple going right back when we started the second bar I didn't know toy was gay and I didn't know Apple was gay she was my number one girl but it turns out toy comes from Surachar Apple and toy finish the bar scene moved to Toy's home. They've been together for about 15 years as girlfriend girlfriend. I didn't know. I mean that's it's wonderful. They're happy. Apple's got a shop with one flat above it, condo above it, and she's got two other shops. She's got a hairdresser she's working in. They've got the flat they're living in. She's got apparently a little corner shop like news agent type shop. And then the third shop she rents out and they're all happy in love been together all these years and I didn't even know she was gay and then another customer knew either and she was my number one girl but apparently they're doing great and toy I never realized <laughs> that's brilliant another happy and happy ending for um, one of the girls who work for me brilliant absolutely brilliant here we go and then one more thing guys um somewhere on on my page or on when you come to the page i think just below the top section there's about four words one of the words says discussion if you click that i've been dropping little bits of information in that discussion comments area little updates telling you what's coming up and things like that but i don't think people have been seeing it because no one's commented at all so just keep an eye on that in the discussion bit click have a look and you'll see little bits from me and uh yeah so there we go thai thailand dating website done apple update done nothing to do with phones and laptops 
and thanks again for all the new subscribers we're um, flying absolutely flying I'm gonna have to do an equipment update soon people keep asking about and I've also got to do a, a channel update on that I've been doing as we going along about money that the channel is earning etc and share that information with you go to social blade it's all there I'll catch you on the next one thanks for watching share uh, yeah share subscribe like don't like troll whatever you want if you troll i'm just you're not getting through the comments so you're wasting your time ta-da for now see you soon bye bye